Okay guys, so welcome back. We're going to be checking out the uh, last ship in this lineup for this week. This is by Clell Janus, and uh, tell me all about it, my friend. Uh, well this ship was designed... I always like to look at uh, one of the Amara ships from EVE Online, so this is sort of my take on it. Okay. As, just as a gunship, as a sniper ship with Which... a salvager transport on the back. Which ship is that? Um, I couldn't find a name, I just know the picture of it. What's it look like? It has a curve with a big long gun on one side. Interesting. Uh, oh. Is that Blood Ray Race? It's called Enyo, I think. Is that a new one? The Enyo. Uh, Is it the Freak? Is that a new one? Uh, or is it an old ship? I think it's an older ship. Because they might have changed the model. Oh no. Oh, I, uh, this is an E-War, it's an E-War frigate. I know exactly which one you think it is, and they did, they remodeled all the frigates, but, uh, because I had one. It was like, it was an E-War frig. But yeah, I, I remember the one, it had like a really long probe-like thing on one side. Ah, uh, uh, asymmetrical. Oh, 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 okay. Give me just one second, it's coming to my mind. But yeah, so let's get on with this review. So basically, uh, you've got, obviously, uh, missile banks and uh, double turret bank, top and bottom. It's nice and yep. clean. And then, what is this? A turret on the side, or is it an actual it's gun? Just one big gun. It's it is gun. just a yeah, main it's gun. Well, it's six the Enyo. It is the Enyo. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it it's is the Enyo. So yeah, basically, um, like in the turret, it's got an interesting pattern on it. Be interesting to see how this thing fares up against a gel one day. Um, and yeah. So I'm really liking this shit, man. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit of an E-fan, so, you know. I'll oh, come down, uh, come inside here. It's from the bottom, so... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we've got a stealth board down here. Very nice, very nice. I'll bring you the original the granddaddy of all space surfboards. Right, here we go. Up here we go. Oh, yeah! So we've got a, a spacious cargo and reception area. Yeah. Moving up the ramp. Oh wow, the yellow wall's working. That works. That really works. This is a really nice interior, man. Yeah. Got a purple bed. And I'm calling it. I'm calling it. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. It's got a computer here. I'm set. <laughs> So eating area bar and there's an access way to the shuttle. Okay, we got eating. Nice, we can get eats. That's good. Oh, what's this? What's this? Uh, shuttle. That's a shuttle? What the? What? Am I in the ship now? I'm completely disoriented. Am I in the ship? I'm outside? Oh, outside Am I yeah. inside? Am I outside? Yeah, this is what happened? Ship. Where did I go? <laughs> Up is down, <laughs> left is right. Crap. Help. Help me. Okay, you know, it's there all good. There is no up or down in space. Oh, no. <laughs> There's yeah, no up or down. We'll run about okay. with salvagers and a shotgun. I got it. This uh, is a yeah. different ship. That's quite a It was almost seamless, except for the fact that as I crossed the boundary, I was like, oh, no, I can't breathe. <gasps> <laughs> it's all good, though. Whoa, I got a helmet now, so... <clears throat> That's why there's this. I left this door open on the inside. Yeah, it's really cool. No, I like the idea. It's co it's a nice concept. You've got it to line up really well. Because if you notice, it never quite lines up. That's why I was like, uh, what's happening? Help! <laughs> this doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah. But no, I understand what you've done now. That's really cool. So you can just get in, fly away. Sweet. Okay. But the best thing I've seen is this yellow. The way you've used this yellow wall. I don't know why, but that's like really nice. Yeah. That really works. This is a really nice looking corridor. So I, I ran out of yellow in here, but here's the uh, engineering sort yep. of, uh, well, actually it's a sort of break room and turret access in here. Ooh, turret access, huh? Oh, for each of the two turrets. Go on, open them up so we can see. Very nice. The crewmen can just come down like the Millennium Falcon and uh, jump in the swing seats and uh, do some gunning. I like that. That's really clever. I like attention to little details like that. Hey, did you just close uh, me in a door? 
Oh, sorry. Uh, that's not really right. I thought it comes out of there. Oh. You're fine now. <laughs> well, that was effective, I have to say. You know, I was definitely trapped. Right. All right, up to the bridge. Very nice. So you've got the first level of the bridge. Oh, well, this is the bridge proper. Not there, okay. So it's the command and engineering area. Got gravity. Can't use it though. These are just for show here. Yeah. More plex doors. Now that's a cool little feature. Yeah, it's sort of the mock hollow thing. The things in the walls. This one here looks best because of the way the lighting has worked. Yeah. But it does kind of match. So you could you could use that as some kind of insignia throughout the ship. Or something like that. That's a really cool little yeah. design you found there. Yeah, so thank you. What have you done? You've gone wedge, 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 wedge. And a missile that's not connected to anything in the center. Yeah. But it's getting the lighting just right. So what? You put two white blobs over the top. Nothing at the bottom. Yeah, see this one looks better with the crystal above it. I think you stumbled upon something really interesting here. Just with that face and the one, you know, above and in front of me right now. Yeah, um, with the crystal on the sides, it didn't look quite right, whereas I like to look at the missiles as sort of emitters. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I just mean the actual pattern. Oh, thank you. Of wedges. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Be very yeah, interesting. Yeah, there's vents here on the side stairs, but they didn't... Lighting for wedges doesn't really work well. Mm, yeah, it is a bit funny. Uh, it depends on the angle. It's a bit funny. But yeah, we, this could all change soon, so it's a bit difficult to say, oh, you should take advantage of this or that, because it could all change. Yeah. yeah. But the actual pattern itself is solid, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so, but yeah. So that's really nice. Is there any more to show? Uh, that's about it, yeah. That's about oh, it. Oh, there's a storage wow. locker on this side, yeah. Storage locker. I can't see you. Where'd you go? Down a level. Down. Down to the crew level. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Aha, uh -huh, he's got a cupboard. People are asking about the cupboards. Clell Janice has a cupboard. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to see. Oh no, the surfboard's gone. Oh no, it's not completely gone. I have a chance. So let's take another quick loop round. So, uh, what was the name of this vessel? Uh, it's a Lancer, but I renamed it to Solitaire Destroyer. Solitaire Corvette. Solitaire Corvette. And your name? Quill Janus. And uh, there you go. So thanks for bringing it along and waiting for so long. Because I saw you at the beginning of the review, and uh, you were still here at the end. And it took us three and a half hours for this lineup total. So yeah, special thanks to everybody involved, everybody watching. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see you in the next one. So there you go. See you then.